Salut à tous, c'est Timo pour Against All Authority et I am joined with uh, Papa Smith, which is a pro uh, and who knows a lot uh, about the LCK teams. Um, how are you doing? Doing really well. Happy to be here with uh, the Riot casting team. Um, it's been a fun event so far and looking forward to EU versus Korea today. All right, so I'd like to talk about the recent changes, about the LCK teams. Uh, first of all, we've had uh, big news uh, about the new KT Rollster team. It's uh, an absolutely humongous team. Uh, what do you think about the whole team overall? Uh, do you think it is a big team that can maybe be a contender for the LCK title? Or do you think maybe the team is a little bit overhyped? I mean, it's a super team. You look at the names on that team, the Samsung players, you know, that went over to China. There's a lot of talent on the team, but if we've learned anything, I mean, especially by China, uh, super teams so far haven't worked. This time we don't have the language barrier to contend with, so theoretically it could work. And I think there's some older players like Marta and Score to do the shot calling, but you have to see them on the rift to be sure. But you just look at the names, you know, the Smeb, Deft, Marta. The big thing for them is winning LCK. Is that the goal? It's not. Winning Worlds is the only true goal for such a stacked roster. So to come in having never played together and be expected to win Worlds without any professional experience as five on the Rift is a, a tall ask. But with those names, anything's possible. About SK Telecom, uh, you know, uh, the gameplay of SK Telecom has always been centered around Faker and Bang. And now we have uh, two very carry players coming to the top lane and in the jungle. Uh, don't you think it can cause some problems maybe? And don't you think they are going to have um, they are going to have to learn to play more like utility roles rather than carry roles? It sounds like you and I are in an agreement. It's one of those things where, you know, Peanut was the star of the team he was on, but the team kind of played around him. Of course, you know, two teams, first Fnatic, then Immortals, have played around Huni. And SKT has always revolved around Faker. You know, people talk about, oh, what about the times he played Lulu? Still extending in lane, you know, overextending lane, still playing aggressively. Huni, Peanut, and Faker against a good team all can't play aggressive at the same time. Even though Bang & Wolf are that defensive bot lane, on paper, someone has to, something has to give between the three of them. So I actually am, just like it sounds like you are, of the opinion that I'd be surprised if SKT started 2017 looking like a future world champion. I think they're going to struggle at the start. They're going to take time. They have great management. They have great coaches. So I think they'll get there. I think summer season, once they kind of really understand their roles, this SKT team with the talent, you know, the raw talent of people like Peanut and Honey will get there. But I think they will struggle. They don't come together as cleanly as a team like KT does, at least on paper. All right. Um, what do you think more precisely about the uni pickup? Do you think it's a good choice, according to you? Or maybe they could have picked up someone better? That's a, you know, it's a really tough question, because like, it depends who you talk to on Huni. I think like Raw Mechanics, uh, I think he's a very strong player. He's a good 1v1 player, and 1v1 is something that they looked for from Duke. His TP usage, I think, is decent. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a struggle for him. And it's kind of a fresh start for Huni. To me, the big story here is that you know, Huni's never played on a Korean team professionally, you know, especially not a LCK level team. So. It's going to be really interesting to see what he makes of going through the Korean style, getting retrained a little bit on some of his bad habits, you know, some of his over-aggression perhaps. And we have to remember, they have profit as well. So they have a second top laner, someone who has professional experience in China, played in Casper Cup, he got owned by Smeb, but so did a lot of top laners. So I think they might actually use profit quite a bit towards the start because profit looked like a good laner. His TP usage was better than Duke's, which was one of his main criticisms. So it's kind of interesting that they have two options. I think Huni will grow into the player. They need him, that SKT uh, needs him to be, but I wouldn't necessarily say that at the start. Like for Huni, it's going to be interesting. He's definitely going to have a couple of games where like, he pops off, you know, he carries, you're like, okay, Huni fitting into SKT, but I'm really interested to you know, jump one split in the future, look back on, say, LCK Spring 2017, and really understand, because it's such a wild card. He's a wild card player on Immortals, a wild card player on a Fnatic, and now going into the Korean structure, another wild card is how well he'll do. Overall, would you say that the 2017 uh, SKT looks stronger or weaker <laughs> than this year? It's so hard. Um, you know, Duke was an upgrade laning-wise on Marin, but it felt like Marin was more effective in SKT. Now you bring in Huni, who's got mechanics, 
galore. I mean, I would say Duke had that as well. Maybe Hooney even more so. But there's those questions about mentality, those questions about how he's going to fit in. He has been the superstar on other teams. He will not be the superstar on SKT. Faker is the superstar. So ego is not normally something we talk about in Korean teams. They fall in line. They have a culture that respects elders. When you have Peanut, Faker, and Hooney, I, I, you have to whisper the question. You have to wonder how they're going to all integrate. Will it just be, you know, ready to go, or will it take time? My impression is gonna, it's going to take time. But this is just really, honestly, given the potential of Hooney, Peanut, and Faker mechanically, to me the big question is the SKT management. They've done it so many teams in the past. If they can get these three players aligned, this team could be anything. All right. Well, thank you for the interview. Uh, I'm going to let you maybe the last words. Yeah, well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, it's been a great All-Star so far. It's been a great 2016 so far. Papa Smithy, and come watch LCK next year. Thank you.